Which one is this? Oh, okay, I like this one a lot. This takes the, uh, the kind of atmosphere from the very last level of the first game. And now we get, like, an actual level for it, which I like. Although it's more spooky now. Because this one's kind of horror-themed. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but I think these guys maybe are supposed to be reminiscent of, like, Resident Evil 4. I would think. I forget when he says it, but Travis has a quote that's really great. The no fuckhead zone. We're in the no fuckhead zone. Maybe I'm making that up. Maybe he doesn't say that at all. Yeah, these guys are actually some of the more annoying enemies in the game. Uh, just because they take a, a while to do their attacks and you really can't get close to them while they're doing them, otherwise you're just gonna get hit by them. And I know that's, like, an obvious thing to say. But even after the attacks happen and they're just standing there with their chainsaw out in front of them, you can still get hit by the attack. But yeah, I, I like this level. I like the quiet, kinda ambience of this one, as opposed to the loudness of others. I also don't think I'm going to have to do anything to the audio levels of this game, because the first one I had to fix, like, almost instantly. As soon as I started editing the videos, I was like, oh boy, this game is really loud. But this one, I think, is a little bit more balanced. If not, then I'll fix it next time I, I sit down to record. The big guys with the axes are not nearly as annoying as the guys with the chainsaws. Come on, just let me keep doing that, please. Yeah, this this whole area kind of reminds me of Resident Evil 4. Not just the enemies. Which, hey, that's a good thing. You know, I love me some Resident Evil 4. And I love that this game can jump genres so much like that. That's one of my favorite things about this series. And this this one in particular, the first one isn't really like that too often. You know, there's a lot more variety in this game, I think. So we're just going to activate this early, kill all these guys. Because these big fat guys really do take quite a while to kill. We'll just get it out of the way real fast now. Is that it? Is there anyone else? That was fun. Moe. Is there anything else? I feel like there's another box. Yep. And I know every time I play this game, it reminds me of Metal Gear a little bit, but this bridge looks like the bridge that uh, the boss was on in the very beginning of the game when you have Sokolov of uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. God, I love the tone of this game. It's so good. So much variety in what you do in this game. That's... One of the things that this game definitely has over the first one. Even though the camera is pretty bad and, you know, the open world isn't as good. Definitely this part of the game is what's great, is the variety. It's a good thing that magazine was there so I could just keep doing this. Although there's an... Another area coming up where there's a lot more fat guys, and I maybe should have waited for then. But whatever. What is this rock here? This looks like it, it's guarding something. Like, it looks like I should be able to break that.
I like that this song transitions into the theme. You know, it's not a constant thing throughout this game where this this song is being beaten right into your skull, unlike the first game. But, um... You know, it, it transitions into it at a point. Here we go, let's do this again. Activate Ripper Mode! It's time for Jack to let her rip! Fuckhead indeed. I'm just gonna go out of my way to get all the fat guys that I can while this is active. Okay. Only get two, oh well. Still better than zero. What did he say to me? Is this something about homework? Damn it, get away from me. Oh, there you go. It's not a Travis quote, it's an enemy quote. I knew someone said it. Uh, is there anyone to use this on? I think enemies spawn in over here at some point. Maybe not? There's a guy over here. At least I killed someone. Yeah, the no fuckhead zone quote sounds like a Travis thing, and I kind of wish it was. But he says something like that, I know. Or someone in this game has a quote similar to that. Oh, cool. What the fuck, Travis? That was really weird. I've never seen that before. Is that everyone? Yep. This is probably one of my favorite fights in the game. I, I like the character that we're gonna fight. I don't know if the fight is incredible. It's alright. But, uh, the character is definitely one of my favorites. Just in terms of, of the design, anyway, he's not really that, like, incredible. Anything else in here? Anything behind this outhouse? No, it doesn't look like it. And let's save. Again, this was another one of my favorite parts of the first game, where the, the toilets were different in each level. It's still a nice little touch. Alright, this area's a little spooky, but, you know, I, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Let's do this. Mario? Mario! Look at this dead rising psychopath. <laughs> Is 
psychotic fucker. Time for a little pro bono ghost busting. You know, Travis strikes me as the kind of guy who would have been really upset about the, uh, the all-female Ghostbusters movie. But not for the reasons of, like, it looked bad, which it did, but just for the reasons that they were women. No, 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 no. Well, that did so much damage! So this fight, like I said, it's alright. I like the boss. I think he looks creepy. Uh, and, you know, I like when a game like this can genuinely do, like, creepy stuff. Like, that cutscene was creepy. That little kid was creepy. This guy looks creepy. And I like when games like this can pull that off. Better than some actual horror games. Ow. I'll probably break this stuff. Yeah, give me that. That one attack that he did was nonsense, that that did that much damage. Let's not have it happen again! Are you serious? I've never had this happen before. Like, literally. I've never failed one of those prompts in a boss before. Let's get him out of that room. I like him in the bigger room. I'm gonna waggle harder than I've ever waggled before next time that that happens, if it happens again. Because I feel slighted now. No! That's unbelievable. I might have just died. I don't know what's wrong. I've never, I've literally, this has never been an issue before. <laughs> Travis, come on. You're funny, but I, I really would rather not die here. Alright, recover, Travis. Oh well. Well, there's a first for everything, I suppose. Yeah, there you go, fuckhead. This is a no fuckhead zone. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see you doing that shit anymore. No, 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 no. It's not gonna happen again, little fucker. Your time in the sun is done, pal. Not that I've brought the god hand with me. I'm using my, my masturbating hand. Yeah, once you've got him caught in a pattern, like most bosses in this game, once you've got them caught in a pattern, you're nigh unstoppable. See, I some bosses I feel like you can't stun or there's something wrong with it. Like, I just can't do it. Out of my way. I feel like the game went way easier on me this time. God damn it. You're real annoying, sir. And yeah, this is this is another one of those bosses that just looks like it it accidentally is in the wrong game. Like it should be in Dead Rising, but he, he accidentally made his way here instead. Alright, I really don't feel like dying again, especially not at the end. That would suck a whole lot of dink. Alright, please don't set me on fire to death. I would really not like that. No, 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 Bring it on! That was the hardest I've ever worked for anything in my entire life. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I have to win! Can this be over now? Holy God, dude. My arm hurts now. What is happening on screen? 
Full power. Go. Fuck off. I wish these characters had better names. Like Matt Helms? I will never remember that. Meanwhile, I'll remember Let's Shake. I'll remember Destroy Man. Well, that was gross. What? What's a kid doing here? I'm born to kill you. What's that? <laughs> this is a problem with fighting the supernatural. You cannot kill someone who's already dead. Already dead? Okay. Are you on the pipe? Such a horrible past. 30 years ago, that child dead boy. was abandoned. Family shocker, dead house. boy, murderer's parents. As dead boy, one goes, word. He made a pact with the devil with his final breath. Revived through the dark arts, the child murdered his parents and now rules this forest, feeding on suffering and hate. All assassins have fucked up somehow, or we wouldn't be in this profession. Nothing surprises me anymore. Now you are ranked 24th. Still a ways to go until the top. You are not getting tired? Huh. I haven't even broken a sweat. Why don't you bring me a real challenge? <laughs> You've got it. I broke a little bit of sweat in that one. Damn, that was th those motion controls. Those were hard. <laughs> 